morning. Good morning, share and invite. Let's get this cranked up, people. God is good. We're going to start in 30 seconds. All right, let's do this. Good morning, everyone. Jennifer LeClaire here with you, senior leader of the Awakening House of Prayer in South Florida, founder of the Ignite Network, and, of course, author of our devotional, Mornings with the Holy Spirit, listening daily to the still, small voice of God. Day 28 of the Floodgates Prophecy. We're pressing in, but first, let's read our devotional. Ask for the desires of your heart. Ask for the desires of your heart. And here's what I heard the Lord say. What are you able to believe Father for? What do you have a difficult time believing Him for? I already know the answers, but I want you to consider the questions and confront the enemies of your faith. 
I want you to recognize the voices of doubt and fear that come to rob Father's promises from you. All of Father's promises are yes and amen. They belong to you in Christ. The Word is is true and he is able to do much more in your life than is recorded in the Bible Jesus is Lord begin asking for the desires of your heart and refuse to bow to the enemy's faith stealing tactics anymore amen and amen that's a good word scripture references for today Matthew 19 and 26 Genesis 18 and 14 and Ephesians chapter 3 verses 20 and 21 and the prayer starter for today I can see some of the enemies of my faith thank you for empowering me to overcome them little by little as I meditate on your word I'm asking you now for those things I haven't dared to ask for in the past I am asking for the desires of my heart my 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 it's an open invitation today people and every day ask the Lord father we thank you that you are such a gracious God that you would put desires in our heart that align with your desires and then you would prompt us to pray for those desires and then you would fulfill those desires what a good good father what a gracious God what a what a what a loving Lord who would set us up for such success set us up for such joy and peace God we give you praise and honor because you are the one and true living God there is indeed no other God like you no one who compares to you the riches of your glory ha, the riches of your love the riches of your long suffering the riches of your kindness you are rich in every sense of the word you are deep you are abundant you are the overflowing God we thank you Lord that rivers of living water flow from our bellies you have positioned us ah you have positioned us shakata you have positioned us for absolute victory in every battle absolute success in every area of our life you would not have us lack or hurt or suffer in any area where you've made a promise the enemy comes to kill steal, and destroy but you came to give us life in abundance to the full until it overflows so we do God we believe you we believe you we dare to believe the one true living God today we dare to put our faith on the promises that are in your word we dare to stretch our faith even into the prophetic words that have been spoken over our life we dare to pick them up like a swarm and swing them against the enemy's plans the combatant of our soul we dare to trust you a little more just a little more just a little more we dare to confront the things in our past that are creeping into our future and making us less than what you've called us to be oh God we dare to trust you we dare to believe you we do we dare we're stepping out on another ledge of faith this morning going higher and higher and higher I just saw a picture of someone literally stepping on a ledge standing out on a ledge it's a narrow you know what a ledge is and, and I saw you and you were willing to walk that ledge when you were only 10 feet high because you knew that if you jumped you would be okay you wouldn't get hurt you knew that if you fell you wouldn't twist your ankle or break your leg you knew that you were safe you were confident. listen to me you were confident in your ability at that level but the Lord would say to you today that I've called you to come up higher I've called you to the next level and then there's a level after that and a level after that but it won't be comfortable for you because in the levels that I'm taking you you will have to depend on me instead of on yourself you will have to be strong in me and the power of my might instead of being strong in your intellect and in your perseverance of your flesh oh the Lord says to you today I am taking you higher to levels that will cause you to be so uncomfortable you'll want to run back you'll want to step down you'll want to go low but the Lord says I am promoting you in this season because you have walked the good walk you've 
fought the good fight you've prayed the good prayer and you've come to a place and an hour in your life says God where I'm able to lift you up and the only thing that's stopping you at this point says God is your own fear so let go and relinquish and cast out the fear that comes against your faith that would keep you on a low level for the Lord says I've given you authority over every devil the low level devil and the principality I've given you authority and nothing shall by any means harm you and nothing shall by any means stop you except that which you allow to overtake you for there's no enemy in the world that's greater than your will says the Lord and there's no enemy in the world that's greater than my heart and greater than my ability to walk you through into victory says God I always lead you into the victorious place into the winner circle and the winner circle doesn't have to be just big enough for you says the Lord the winner circle is big enough for my whole bride my whole body says God for I've called you all to stand in the winner circle with arms lifted up and the Lord would say to you today instead of competing with your brother and competing with your sister and even competing with yourself begin to cooperate because my inner circle and my winner circle is big enough for all of you I don't shun anybody and I don't shut anybody out all of my children are welcome in the inner circle and the winner's circle but you must cooperate one with another says God because you need one another more than you know for I've not called any of you to walk alone that's why I made Adam and then I made Eve that's why I saw the uh, the erection of families in my body that is why I've building that's why I'm building churches says the Lord that the gates of hell cannot prevail against and the Lord says today I want you to build families relationships businesses all these kingdom enterprises that the gates of hell cannot prevail against by using my principles and my principle is not competition my principle is cooperation my principle is lift up your brother pray for your sister my principle is walk hand in hand in unity for where there is unity says the Lord I will command a blessing and I will command a blessing that you cannot contain I will command a blessing that forces you to cooperate with another to reap that harvest because there's more than enough for all of my children all of my sons all of my daughters there is more than enough says God so dare to believe me today and to stretch yourself a little further than you did yesterday and to understand and know that whatever is facing you down you can overcome because I am with you and I am in you and I will never leave you and I will never forsake you says the Lord so allow me to promote you and don't be afraid allow me to raise you up and don't be scared allow me to do in your life what I want to do but understand and know there is an enemy and if he can find something in you says the Lord that he would work with that little leaven to take you out so come before me even now and understand and know that I am ready willing and able to prepare you for victory but you must cooperate with me just like I've called you to cooperate with your brothers because it's promotion time says the Lord it's promotion time and doors are opening unto you in this season that you've waited for for many 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 years and you must prepare yourself to walk through them it is promotion time says the Lord hallelujah praise God now let me say something about what that word just said if you've not been doing right by God you're not about to get promoted this is a this is a corporate word and if some of you ain't living right or you're backstabbing and betraying people you're not gonna get promoted you're gonna get promoted to deliverance is what you're gonna get promoted to if you've been running over people and you've been uh, lying behind their back and you've been using unjust means to get what you want you're not going to get the promotion you think you're going to get you're going to get a promotion to discipline a promotion to deliverance a promotion to a good scolding from the Lord so that you can get yourself back in line with him so that you can get his promotion not the promotion that you strive for do you understand me I have to say that when I release a word like that because there's some who they're not living right they're not talking right they're not praying right they're not doing anything right they just think they're gonna be you know lazy bones getting promoted doesn't work that way that was a corporate word and I believe most of you qualify for it 
Hallelujah. So, Father, we do. We thank you this morning. We thank you this morning. We thank you this morning. We say, yes, Lord, we're ready for the promotion, even if it's a promotion into discipline, if it's a promotion into deliverance. Lord, we want the promotion, whatever promotion you have for us, even if you have to set us aside for a season to work on our hearts. We're ready for it. We want your promotion. We want to do what you want to do. We want to see in our lives what you want to see. We love you, Lord. We're submitted to you. We are submitted to you. We are submitted to the one and the true and the living God. We are submitted to you. We want what you want. We want to see what you want to see. We want to do what you want to do. God, help us. Help us today. Because there's a saboteur in the floodgates. I saw it clear as day. There's been little, listen, there's been little mini, M-I-N-I, -I, sabotage demons hanging around me the last several weeks. Little minor stuff. Listen, little minor stuff. Not massive stuff, but minor stuff. But you have to take a cue. Listen, I'm going to pray teach you today. You have to take a cue from your surroundings. And when you begin to see certain patterns of things that just, they're a little odd or they just, they quite don't make sense. You need to begin to pray because there's something going on. And I finally pegged it this morning. I'm going, to, I'm going to pray teach you for two minutes and we're going to go back into prayer. Listen to me. When I was in Dallas at the Global Prophetic Summit, I kept going to, to Starbucks or to restaurants that were closed. They, they weren't marked closed on the map. They weren't closed last year. They were temporarily closed. Somebody say temporarily closed. Temporarily closed means it wouldn't be on the map. So I'm driving around, wasting my time, going to this place and that place. I went to three different places in one afternoon trying to get a cup of coffee, and they were temporarily closed. Restaurants temporarily closed. Last night here in Dallas before the Awakening House of Prayer meeting, I mean uh, here in Atlanta at the Awakening House of Prayer meeting, we tried to go get something to eat to a main stream restaurant these aren't like little out of the way places that you know joe bob's chicken shack or something like that these are mainline brand name restaurants and the place is temporarily closed temporarily closed and i told prophet vanessa when i was in dallas i said this is a, this is an assignment brewing it's called temporarily closed and there's an assignment brewing. we need to pray against it and it happened again last night there's so, so what does that tell me listen i'm teaching you that tells me that the enemy is trying to bring a temporary closure to something in my life. He can't bring a permanent closure to anything because God is the one who opens doors and shuts doors. Do you hear me? God is the one who opens doors and shuts doors. So the devil can never bring a permanent closure to anything in your life. Not without your cooperation. He can deceive you to do it, but he can't do it. And so I don't know what it is. The devil is trying to temporarily close. But I break that in Jesus' name. It's a spirit of sabotage. How many of you know it's not good when you're starving to death and haven't got nothing to eat and you got to go to a meeting hungry? Amen. It's not, it's not the worst thing in the world. We can fast, but that's not the point. The point is, is that there's this pattern of temporary closed. And then this morning, I said this is the last thing I'm going to say, and I'm gonna, we're going to pray because there's a saboteur in the floodgates. There's a saboteur in the floodgates. This morning, I set my alarm for 5.15. I was going to sleep for 7 hours and 15 minutes. That's my sweet spot. Well, for whatever reason, the alarm was going off, but there was no sound on it. And that's never happened before. Never happened before. Never happened before. That's never happened before. It always makes a sound. Even if it's on vibrate, it makes a sound. There's no reason why it wouldn't make a sound, except the prince of the power of the air. And Prophet Vanessa is knocking on my door, trying to bring me coffee. And I didn't even hear her knocking on the door. That's how knocked out I was. Why? Because the heat in the hotel room was set so high that I was sweating all night long and I couldn't sleep. So I finally fell asleep at the time that my alarm wasn't going off. Are you seeing it? It's sabotage. Are you seeing it? It's sabotage. Are you seeing it? It's sabotage. Temporarily closed. Uh, all these crazy things happening. It's sabotage. Trying to steal my sleep. Trying to steal this prayer call. It's sabotage. There's a saboteur in the floodgates. And whatever the enemy is trying to sabotage in your life, we're going after it. God didn't put him there. 
They're there. They're stationed there strategically. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, that you've given us power over all the power of the enemy. And we break the power of the spirit of sabotage now in the name of Jesus. Ah, we break it in the name of the Lord. I come against the spirit of sabotage in all of its manifestations. And I cancel this assignment of sabotage in our lives in Jesus' name. I just wish I could get three people to agree with me. One can put a thousand to flight. Two can put ten thousand to flight. If I could just get one body, one person, one soul to agree with me, we could set the whole broadcast free today God in the name of Jesus I thank you Lord that you are bigger than sabotage you are the one who pieces us back together you are the one who makes the crooked places straight you are the one that makes the mountains into valleys God in the name of Jesus we push back on that spirit of sabotage that's trying to come in like a flood oh it's just trickling now some of you though have seen a flood oh God I come again temporary closures I come against false alarms ah I come against failed alarms ah I come against all of these things all of these ways that sabotage comes to steal kill and destroy in our lives in the name of Jesus I break the assignment of the saboteur in the floodgates listen some of you it's somebody you know I hate to say it somebody the enemy is working I don't know who I'm talking to the enemy is working through somebody you know to sabotage you. My, 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 my. My, 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 my. My, 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 my. My, my, my. You know, who's in your inner circle is, is it matters. God says all his whole body, his whole bride is in his inner circle. That means his inner chambers. We're all invited into God's inner chambers. But you know what? He doesn't have to worry about us uh, uh, usurping him because he has all power. You got to be careful who's in your inner circle because if you have a saboteur in your inner circle, things are going to go wrong. If you've got somebody who's demonized in your inner circle and they don't know how to control their demons, they don't know how to put their flesh down, it's going to affect your business. It's going to affect your mind. It's going to affect your family. It's going to affect everything. It's a saboteur in the name of Jesus God. Would you give us discernment that we would recognize the saboteurs, whether it's in the spirit realm, whether it's in the natural realm whatever this is happening we we ask you in the name of Jesus to give us insight and revelation into the working of the saboteurs in our life in every aspect of our life in Jesus name in Jesus name I'm telling you this word right here today listen to me this word right here today is going to cause some of your eyes to open and you're going to see that some of the trouble you've had it's because of the saboteur some of you haven't seen everything you want to see in the floodgates and some of you it's because of the spirit of saboteur I had a friend one time she is a she has an itinerant ministry and she was she's seeing everything dry up it makes no sense it makes no sense at all it made no sense as it was everything because she had a thriving ministry all of a sudden things begin to dry up for like a year and then she got a revelation ah. She got a revelation is a spirit of sabotage and she began to come against that thing and break that thing and push that thing back and take authority over that thing and command that thing to leave and kill its assignment and all the things we're doing today. And then her ministry went right back in even higher than it was before. You have to understand when you're dealing with the spirit of sabotage, it seems like everything is going wrong. It doesn't just attack one area typically it'll it starts in one area and then it overflows into other areas until it seems like everything you put your hand to will not prosper your family your finances all of it it's like a ripple effect so father the name of Jesus we break the powers of the saboteur in the floodgates and we say in Jesus name that we will not be moved from the head of the floodgate we will not be stolen from we're going to recognize and discern this assignment in whatever area it's operating and we're going to see it for what it is and we're not going to bow to it and we're not going to feel sorry for ourselves and we're not going to say oh everything's going wrong for me what well, we're going to say no I saw the devil I caught it I caught him when the thief is caught stealing he's got to repay seven times and the spirit of sabotage wants to steal kill and destroy and it's got to repay so I decree right now in Jesus name I decree right now in Jesus name 
that everyone who's been uh, uh, victimized by the spirit of sabotage, we will not see ourselves as victims any longer and feel sorry for ourselves any longer, even though that was the assignment of the spirit, but we would see ourselves as victorious in Christ. We would say, aha, I caught you devil. I caught you saboteur. I caught you and now you must repay in the name of Jesus. I decree repayment from the saboteur in the name of the Lord. I decree it in the name of Jesus. I say no weapon formed against us shall prosper in the name of Jesus. I break it in the name of Jesus. And I say this demon power has no right and no authority in God of the yeah. If we've given it some kind of right, Lord, show us how to close the door to the saboteur in the name of Jesus. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. We give you praise. Oh God. We give you glory. Oh God. You are good. You have revealed to us today. You have revealed to us today an assignment that's trying to steal our blessing in the floodgate. In Jesus name we give you praise Jesus we magnify your name today for you are good and your mercies endure forever there's nobody like you 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 oh we give you praise God in the name of Jesus thank you Lord 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 Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the God who reveals our enemy so we can defeat our enemy in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. We give you praise and honor, God. We will not succumb to the saboteur. We will not uh, shrink back from the saboteur because you've given us authority. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. Isn't God good? I think I've woken up now. You didn't know I could pray asleep, did you? Praise the Lord. That wasn't me. That was the Holy Ghost. You didn't know I could pray asleep, did you? Hallelujah. I was asleep. I was asleep right up till this call started. I was asleep. I was sleeping. Hallelujah. Prophet Vanessa had to come ruin my sleep. Knocking on my door. Hallelujah. Calling my phone. You know how she finally got me? She used wisdom. She called the hotel phone. And that's ringing right next to my head. I said, what in the Lord? Good grief. What is this? I said, I don't like that noise. What is it? I'm like, who is this? She says, what are you doing? I said, oh my goodness. What, what time is it? It's time for the prayer call. My, 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 my. Praise God. God is good. Listen, there is a spirit of sabotage. I first learned about that from, from Dr. Cindy Trim. That's where I first learned about it. I write about it in one of my books. I believe it's the Spiritual Warfare Battle Plan. How to overcome that. How to recognize it. Because I had to learn that. That was operating against me too. And it sneaks up every once in a while. But when you notice patterns, when you notice certain patterns, you got to ask the Lord, what is going on? Amen. God is good. Listen, I want to give you an opportunity to sow into this today. I'm not going to be before you long because I've got to catch a plane back home. We'll be doing the Walking in the Spirit webinar this afternoon. And then uh, tomorrow and Friday, I'll be home catching up on some stuff and strategizing with the Lord. I love to strategize with the Lord, don't you? Hallelujah. Somebody needs to sow a breakthrough seed today because I believe, I really honestly believe that you got breakthrough that you either know about or don't know about or you're about to because you've been equipped today to deal with this saboteur in the floodgates. So, Father, we thank you today. If you want to sew, you can do so. Jennifer, uh, PayPal. Yeah, let me see. Where do I start? JenniferLeClaire.org slash give. JenniferLeClaire.org slash give. You can become a partner there. When you become a partner, you get a complimentary 
uh, MP3 every month. It's there in your dashboard to download this month. It's Deliverance. And uh, next month, I can't remember what it is next month. It'll be going up in a few days, and I'll tell you what, what it is. If you, if you become a partner now, you'll get this month's resource and next month's resource because we're right at the end of the month. JenniferLeClaire.org slash donate. You can also use the text to give, 754-701-2161, 754-701-2161. Text the word pray, 754-701-2161. Text the word pray. You can also use the cash app, dollar sign Jennifer LeClaire. You can use the cash app, dollar sign Jennifer LeClaire. You can use the PayPal, paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire, paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. You can use the P.O. Box, P.O. Box 30563, Fort Lauderdale, Florida 33303. P.O. Box 30563, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. 33303. Three. God is good. Father, I thank you for the opportunity to sow into your kingdom because we know that we can't outgive you. 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 And you love a cheerful giver. So, Father, today we give cheerfully, understanding and knowing that something today shifted in the spirit. And you want to shift even more things in our hearts and in our lives, God. So we put our money where our heart is today in Jesus' name. And we say, Lord, you have your way. You, everything belongs to you. It all belongs to you. We're giving you today, God. God, a small portion of what you've given us to seal our experience, to remind ourselves that you are good. When this sabotage spirit begins to back off, I believe it's already backed off, we're going to know it's because of this prayer. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God is good. I lift up all of my awakening house of prayer. Awakening House of Prayers across the country and around the world, all of the Awakening Blaze intercessors and prayer leaders, all of my Ignite Network members, all the churches that are aligned with me, all of my School of the Spirit students, I lift them all up to you and I ask you, Lord, bless them indeed, enlarge their territory, let your hand of power rest upon them and keep them from evil in Jesus' name, amen and amen. God is good all the time. Listen, the, the Ascend Conference, I'm going to keep saying this. This is day nine days to go. This is my, the first national conference I've ever held on my own, as my own ministry, not in partnership with another ministry. I used to do a lot of conferences with other ministries, and, but this is the first one I've ever done, so it would mean the world to me if you could get in on this because I have meticulously handpicked the people, the sessions, the whole experience has been bathed in prayer, and this is really going to be phenomenal. Uh, we're going to have Pastor Sierra and Pastor Austin with us, so if you haven't met them, you'll get a chance to do that as well. Of course, Prophet Vanessa will be heading up the ship uh, with all of the many things that we have to do to make this excellent. There's a luncheon. If you can't come to Tampa, listen, if you're in Florida, you don't have any excuse. But if you, <laughs> if you can't come to Tampa, you can watch this online on demand. You can watch it online on demand. Just go sign up at jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com, jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com. You can sign up there. You can come in person. But you've got to sign up for the online viewing. You've got to sign up for the online viewing. Don't sign up for the free registration, the night services. Don't sign up for the day services. Sign up for the, for the ticket that says online viewing. Otherwise, you won't have access to that. You understand? So go there. Get Susan, it's your first conference. Amen. Well, that's special for both of us. You can go there, jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com. Please don't miss out on this. This is, uh, everything was handpicked, hand curated. God is good. Go to jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com. You're going to find a lot of other stuff there too. A lot of free stuff for you to sign up for. Sign up for what blesses you. The dream code, that is just about been 24 hours. Uh, that is on special to, uh, for the 24-hour uh, sale at 69% off. I think the the subject or the link was wrong, so we might have to send that out again. Unfortunately, I don't think people understood what it said. There was a typo in the headline, so I'm going to probably have the office send that out again today so there's no confusion. But this is 69% off. This is eight hours of teaching, dream interpretation, uh, skills, teachings, principles, based on my new book and even going beyond my new book. So go and sign up for that. It's going to bless you. 
Go sign up for that at schoolofthespirit.tv, schoolofthespirit.tv, schoolofthespirit.tv. There's lots of other stuff for you there. There's even free stuff. If you're not on my email list, you're missing out because there's exclusives and specials that only go out via email. So if you're not on my email list, get on my email list, jenniferleclair.org, and you'll get a complimentary MP3 when you sign up for that. You'll get a free MP3 download when you sign up for that. JenniferLeClaire.org. There's email only exclusives, email only content, email only discounts that go out for you. So get involved in that as well. If you want to watch my preaching on Sundays, you can do that at ahop.online. We actually have a special uh, a Facebook group just for the AHOP Global Family. The Awakening House, it's called Awakening House of Prayer global family and you can go into that that's free there's no requirement but if you want to watch the services you got to go to ahop.online because they're not streamed in there they're streamed online on ahop.online amen so go and do that if that's going to bless you i'm sure there's many of the things that uh that i could share with you i don't uh i see somebody's emailing me i don't remember what they are am i missing anything why is there a cost? Well, if you'd like to fund the program and buy the ten thousand, I'm sorry, sixteen thousand dollar live stream platform and the five thousand dollar camera and pay my staff, we'll do it for free. But unfortunately, those things cost money. So if you're on here to cause trouble, then let us just block you now. Let's just go ahead and block you now because I don't have the tolerance for it today. Comcast costs money. It's $500 a month just for the internet cost, not to mention the $40,000 budget at the House of Prayer just to keep it open. Amen. I'm not in the mood this morning to wrestle with people that want to be religious. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, Jesus didn't charge for anything. Well, you know, it's kind of a, he didn't need the internet either. And he had this miracle working power where you know, he was able to take, you know, a few loaves and fishes and feed everybody. So, you know, it's kind of a different story. Amen. Our ministry does not run on hand claps. Oh, that's a really good one. No, I'm just not in the mood for it today. Amen. It costs money. We come to Atlanta once a month as, as the Awakening House of Prayer. and We have a prayer meeting last night. We had about 50 people, which is really good on a, on a holiday season. Uh, who came and really prayed passionately. You know that, that the offerings that people sow into that doesn't even cover 25% of what it costs us to come up here every month and do this because we're sowing into the city. 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 And we don't, I'm, not, I'm not saying that for sympathy. I want to sow into the city. The Lord gave me an assignment. When the Lord gives you an assignment, you go and you do it. Amen. God makes it up in other areas. School of the Spirit TV, and there are a lot of uh, free stuff on there, and there'll be more because you reap what you sow. Amen. God is good. He is good. So get involved with what blesses you. But if you want to criticize the ministry, then I'm going to block you because I've got enough attacks, and I don't need someone on my Periscope or on my Facebook intentionally trying to cause strife. Because where there's strife, there's confusion, and every evil work. Hallelujah. God is good. Have a wonderful day. I'm going to go get ready to catch a plane and hopefully drink some coffee before catching the plane because I have to tell you honestly, that person doesn't go to work for free. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great point. Yes, I'm sure that person doesn't go to work for free. Amen. Have a great day. I'll be back with you tomorrow. I love you guys. Bless you.